expanding its leadership beyond Korea, SK Hynix is now leading the global semiconductor market. This module handling guide will provide instructions for proper handling of memory modules to SK Hynix employees, as well as the users of SK Hynix products. This video will help reduce product failures caused by unsafe or improper handling. As technology advances, the components of memory devices become more densely packed, and passive components such as the MLCC, resistor, and EEP ROM become thinner and smaller. More importantly, these critical components are placed very close to the edges of a memory module, which is why careful handling is required to prevent physical damage. Moreover, Static electricity generated by improper handling of a memory module must be avoided, as it can cause severe damage to the product. Workers must wear anti-static gloves and footwear and dust-free clothing at all times. Attention please! Are you done putting on your dust-free clothing with anti-static gloves and footwear? Then let's have a look at how to correctly wear anti-static wrist straps. The wrist straps must be worn in contact with your skin and not over dust-free clothing or gloves. After putting on the straps, you must use a strap tester to check if the straps have been worn correctly. The green light means you are wearing the straps correctly, whereas the red light means you are not wearing them correctly. In this module handling guide, we will show you some cases of physically damaged memory modules due to improper handling and explain how to properly handle them. Please use the information we provide in this video to reduce device failures. Carry the tray with both hands with the cover on. Stack trays with the covers on. Insert, remove modules in correct sequence. Insert modules straight so there is no overlap between adjacent modules. Store modules in trays and avoid stacking them. Use the right tray for the module. Wear gloves when handling a module. Handle modules on a conductive mat or a grounded surface. one module at a time. Do not bend the module.
check the position of the notch. Use both hands to insert, remove the module. Insert, remove the module without tilting. Do not touch the IC or other components. Insert, remove the module in a gentle and slow motion. Do not apply force to the module after installation. Do not shake the module after installation. Insert, remove modules in correct sequence when there are multiple slots. Take caution to prevent the module from hitting an adjacent module. Insert, remove one module at a time. Do not apply excessive force to a module when there is an adjacent module. Lower the electric screwdriver slowly. Place the screw precisely in position. Do not tilt the electric screwdriver. Please learn and follow the instructions and take extra care when inserting a module into a socket or removing it from a socket as that is when damage occurs most frequently. Thank you for watching Module Handling Guide.